Hey everyone, welcome back in my new video. This video is about the push notifications. This is the part 2 of my push notifications videos. In my previous video I showed you how we can check if the user browser supports the push manager, if it supports the service worker, and then also I showed you the flow of the push messages sent from the server to your user browser. And so in this video, I will go ahead and talk about the way that you can subscribe your user to the push messages to receive the messages from the server. And so if you find this video useful, then don't forget to click on the like button and without wasting your time, let's go ahead and take a look what I prepared for this one. So in this video, I will talk about the push notifications and basically uh, about the way that you can register a user to the messages from the server. So the way that you you would like to register the user, it uh, you can uh, take the three steps. Uh, the first step is that you would like to register the service worker, then pass the subscribe options to the object, and then register the uh, your user with the push manager. And so Let's take a look at this function and I will explain you uh, everything. So here you can see that I'm creating a function. Um, I'm accessing the navigator in in interface, I'm calling the service worker and I'm registering a new service worker which lives in the SWJS file. And while I'm registering this file or this service worker, I'm getting a promise with an object and this object is an registration object in which I'm returning here and I'm calling the push manager method and the subscribe uh, function and I'm passing in my subscribe options for the user. And what are those subscribe options? Well, basically you can see here that I'm passing an object uh, with two key values. The first one is the user visible only, which is set to true. And the second one is an application server key. And I will explain you this, uh, both of them, uh, to you in a, in a second. And then after that, uh, after you subscribe the user with the push manager, you will get another promise with another object. And this object will be the push subscription. And this object contains basically all the informations that are necessary for your server to send these messages to the browser. So you may you may wonder what is basically the application server key, the user vi visible only, and the push subscription. So the user visible only, when it's set true, it means that they are uh, the only way that developer can show the messages or the notifications to your user is to show them. Uh, visible in the UI so that developer cannot send the messages uh, that are not visible to your user in the browser. All right, and here you can see the way that your server will uh, create the application server key. Okay? So your server needs to create a private and a public key, and then the public key is being sent to the browser. Then when you when you are registering the service worker. This, the service worker will add the public key that was sent from your server and then it will send to the push service in the way that I'm doing here. So at this line I'm sending the subscribe options with the public key and the public key is basically the application server key. So here I'm sending the public key to the push service and the push service then adds an URL endpoint back to the browser. Uh, what, the, what is the, the URL endpoint? It is uh, uh, basically the push service. Uh, it do it because uh, so that it can differentiate uh, when you send it a new message, and so that it can uh, check if the application is being the same that was subscribing the user to the push messages so that no other application can send messages to the user. Alright, so 
again the server creates the private and the public key then the public key is being sent to the browser then when you are registering the service worker then the uh, you are sending the the subscribe options so the public key to the push service then the push service will send it the all the uh, the public key uh, and basically the uh, push subscription object which is send it here and so you will receive it to the browser and then you will have to send it back to the server but uh, so those are the four steps so the app backend generates two keys the public key is sent to the browser is step number two the step number three is the browser sends the public key while registering a user so it will send to the parser the push service and the push service then adds then URL endpoint and then send them back to the browser to your application and here you can see uh, a diagram which shows you uh, how would you send a message uh, after that after subscribing your user to the push messages to the application so the way that you, that will happen is that your server will need to create an authorization header in which contains the private key, the public key, and the message that you want to show to your user. And then you will have to send it via the API uh, request to the push service. The push service will then decrypt the header. It will check if the uh, end URL is the same as the end URL of your, uh, of your application. If it matches the same, if the, if the public key is the same, then it will send the message forward to your application to the browser and then the application will uh, decrypt the message and the, and the message will be shown uh, in the UI um, so you may wonder how you, you can basically create this application server case of the Vapid case and so the one way you can do it is that you can install a web push dependency uh, globally in your computer and then you can uh, call a uh, command web push generate rapid case and what would you get back as those two keys so the public key and the private private key so this is the one way you can do it you can also do it uh, another way but you can find it uh, uh, in the on the internet and so the last one uh, that you may wonder is how the push subscription object looks like so what is the object that your browser has to send it back to the to the to the server to, to your backend and so this is this is uh, how the push subscription object may look like more or less so the endpoint uh, consists the url of your application and then some unique id and the case are uh, two values or two uh, k per values which is more or less uh, something like this you can see here and i will talk about this object uh, in my next video so in my next video i will talk about how you can fetch the push subscription in your backend of application i will also explain you how you can handling the push events and displaying the message in your ui browser so this was a, a short one uh, i wanted to show you how you can subscribe the user to the push messages in your uh, push service of the browser but if you have any questions again uh, leave it in the comment section and I will for sure explain you uh, in a detail and yeah that's it I will see you in the next one bye